So I am going to not follow that up well. But <laughs> that was fantastic, super fun. Yeah. So I just want to talk for a minute about my final project and some of the stuff that I've kind of done over the past few years here at CCU and what I'm looking forward to in the future. So if you were to meet me in an elevator, here's what I would tell you about me if I wanted you to hire me. If I wanted you to like me, I'd probably tell you different things. <laughs> um, I'm a communications major and I'm a philosophy minor. I'm a history philosophy minor to graduate from CCU. I'm passionate about oral and written communication. Visual communication is not my thing. I like communication practice and theory, and I love team communication. So my strengths are that I'm really good with people, I'm really good at getting behind people's visions, and I'm a goal-oriented leader. So my actual final project, I decided to kind of write a paper and theme it around this idea of a dock, which is like, you think of a dock as this place where when a ship's been kind of battered and bashed by the sea, it comes into harbor to relieve itself of its, like, all of its cargo and the burdens that it's carrying to be rebuilt and be made ready again to go sail where it's supposed to be. Um, so CCU's been a place of healing, learning, and growing for me, uh, kind of as I recover and prepare myself for what God has next. Um, have any of you seen the movie The Secret Life of Walter Mitty? Yes. Okay, so like that, the I just wanted to like put for this just the life motto because that movie is like one of my favorite movies in the whole world, and I love that motto. But since I can't do that because it's copyrighted or whatever, um, just a personal mission statement. You can read it if you want to, but yeah. Uh, my final project, just to give you guys a little snapshot of what's inside of there. Uh, I did a career interview with my dad, who's super cool and one of the one of the best business people I've ever met. He's really super cool. I want to be like him someday. Um, I have a lot of different research that I've done in there, including uh, perceptions of job candidate credibility, which was requested to be featured in some kind of conference. I don't know what it was. We didn't feature it because we didn't feel like doing it, but so that was cool. Um, and then I researched communication practices at the Lone Tree Police Department. Also, poetry about everything from trees to theologians. So we got fun on the philosophical side. I have done assessments of media and pop culture, including things like Lord of the Rings and Fight Club. Yes. Really fun. Um, I also have done ethical arguments against embryonic destruction and written about embryonic personhood, which is another very fascinating and sensitive topic. Um, and if you're ready when Dr. V was here, I also <laughs> love Andrew Ledbetter and his media multiplexity theory. Um, I also wrote a devotion on trust, which was neat. So just a snapshot of my time here at CCU, just kind of four things that have really defined these last two years for me, two years because I'm a transfer student. Uh, the first would be my friends. Didn't have a lot of friends coming into CCU, and I have some really close, hopefully lifelong friends uh, coming out of it now. Um, just bought a house with a few of my homies that we're moving into this week. And uh, so kind of looking forward to a very different life after CCU than where I was before CCU. Um, res life, I've been an RA this year. That's awesome. Res life is I really like it. I hated res life my freshman year. I was like, why do they just want to give everybody steps and kick people out? And I'm in it. I'm like, wow, these people are cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's been neat. Chapel, I was on the chapel team. I played bass last year. If any of you remember me, I jumped around a lot and had short hair. So that might help. Um, and then my classes. I've really, really enjoyed a lot of the courses that I've taken here, um, especially with Plato and with Dr. V. Just some fascinating things that we go into and some really cool passions that I've kind of learned that I didn't know I had. Um, so obviously out of that, like, there's some people that I really want to say thank you to. I don't have the thank yous up, again, I'm just kind of describing what I did. Um, so I've handwritten thank yous, I specifically wanted to thank, like I said, Dr. B and Plato, just because they've been both academic and personal inspirations and mentors to me over the past few years. Uh, Caleb Black and Matt Bootsmoke, where the RD and ARD of Rock went this year, have been hugely influential in who I am. I wanted to thank Paolo and Stainbrook. I know I haven't had you guys for a lot of classes, but the ones that I have had, it's been a huge blessing and I've learned so much. And then obviously, if you were here for my story, you know that my parents are my best friends in the whole world and the biggest role model that I've ever had. And so I would not be here if it weren't for them. Um, what's next? I just got a first home, which is cool. I'm hopefully starting a job with this cool new business venture that's changing up the way that insurance companies work with leads, which is really neat. We're gonna try and change the way that that works. Um, I want to find more passions, find more hobbies, and I want to learn better how to let God guide me because I really suck at following him. So, <laughs> that's all.